Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> Should we be any more unsettled? Welcome to the correct views. Sam Beganji, your host. I those are just talking notes for myself. Don't pay any attention. I was giving sources for this, and the death count is different on different sites. It's probably going to go up by the time that most of you see it. So let's just talk about some of the obvious facts, which even if the details, uh, the details should change, uh, we still have a basis of reality of which to work at here. Uh, in a nutshell, I'm sure that everyone knows by now, but in case you don't, Joe Biden trusted the Taliban to vet those going into the airport to leave Afghanistan. And the, uh, the result was that ISIS got through. Now, I said just yesterday that it's remarkable how Shiite and Sunni and ISIS and Taliban they can all magically seem to come together when it comes time to kill Gringo. We talked about how minorities are minorities. You gotta help the minority. You do realize that the white person is a minority in the Middle East. Terrorists set off a bomb, and I can explain how I think it may have happened in a moment, so don't drift. They set off a bomb, or a sewer, and uh, currently there are 13 dead soldiers, over 60 injured. Many of them innocent people waiting to leave. Some were civilians, some were those who helped the United States. We're still trying to figure out who all they are. We allowed the Taliban to vet the people, to make sure that the people going to the airport were safe. Let that sink in before we go any further. We trusted the Taliban Did they suddenly join forces like a mighty Islamic Boltron? I have no idea. Was somebody slipped 20? Most likely. We know that the security forces in the Afghan army backed down and in some cases joined the Taliban gleefully. We know that there are uh, radical, uh, radical Islamists, Taliban members flying around in Black Hawk helicopters. Because Joe Biden didn't only not have the wherewithal to take the people out before the military so that the military could keep those safe. But he showed his brilliance even further by not destroying the, I don't know what, tanks, Humvees, Black Hawk helicopters, clearly. How in the world did this happen? Well, I can tell you how I think it may have happened the former uh, behind-the-scenes queen of the show, Christelle, her and I uh, would quite frequently go to a... Well, I don't want to say where it is in case they've reverted back to their stupidity. Uh, I, I reported that... Well, I am going to say it because I, I think they've changed it. Uh, it was one of the Cedar Fairs, put it that way. It was one of the Cedar Fairs amusement park. And there were two that we frequented. I know for sure that Kings Island fixed it, so I can say that. Kings Island doesn't do this anymore. I reported this as a problem, and I'm not sure if the other park addressed it yet. I don't remember. I think they may have. But here's what I think. A situation similar, at least, to this <clears throat> is what I think took place in Afghanistan. Picture, if you will, a horseshoe going, let's say, under those lakes. The people come in this way, towards the lakes. They just keep coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. 
if someone with nefarious purposes drives down, say, the top of this TV here, the fat cam, driving down this road, they can set off a bomb anywhere from here to here and cause a great deal of problems without needing to get close. This particular amusement park was letting people in that way. They had uh, metal detectors in these bunch of secu security theater meant to make you feel better. And what it did was it put hundreds, depending on the time of day, potentially thousands of people at the entrance without anybody seeing who's arriving at the entrance. Now, this may have gone a bit deeper in Afghanistan. They may have actually been permitted to breach. But you get the idea. You get what I'm saying here. And that's a problem at a lot of these places. It looks like, oh, they're keeping us safe. Don't you see how safe they're keeping us? Look at all the people that have to get wanded and probed and felled up to get in. All of that means we're safe. You're not safe if you're standing in a cluster waiting to get in, because all anybody has to do then is kill the people waiting to get in because they have the line backed up. I'm willing to guess it's about 100 times more complex in Afghanistan than the scenario that I just laid out to you. But it cannot be overlooked that that's, in a nutshell, sort of what I believe happened here from what I've been able to see through study. Trusted the Taliban, the Taliban, as uh, Biden says. Uh, Gravelin Joe trusted the Taliban to vet people going here. Let that sink in. Hit share, hit subscribe. The outcome of uh, poor leadership, friends. I'm sorry to report such grim news. Good night, friends. God bless. There's other videos coming. Hit them. They're not all about Afghanistan. I'm not going to do that today.